Hi guys, welcome to my first YouTube video on mud spot photography. Um, I've been shooting mud spot photography for 18 years, so we're going into my 19th year doing it. So I've just been around a bit and know a few things. Um, always asked what kit I use. So while I'm packing ready for Qatar, for five weeks stint, let's go through my kit. So I use these Nikon DSLR D6 bodies for the latest flagship model from Nikon, uh, 20.8 megapixels, 14 frames a second, what more do you want for sports photography? Robust and reliable, absolutely fantastic. This one's got a WT6 wireless transmitter on it for sending images from the dongle, from the camera to the dongle to then back to a server so that we can put images up quickly on the uh, website, which is pretty cool. Then I've got a 1424mm for getting in there when the rider's getting on the bikes, when they're celebrating, always pointing at them to, to look in the lens and stuff like that. This is a great lens for getting right in there on the action. Always recommend having a wide lens. The next lens is a 7200. Brilliant for portraits. You're just a little bit back from the action so you can get some of the riders' thoughts and the uh, team members working away without getting in their way. Um, another great lens is this. Uh, then I've got a 2470. Now this is a good lens. It's, it's, it's not too wide, so you don't get the aberration at the sides, but um, it's, it's a good, neat lens that keeps the verticals vertical. Next lens is a 50mm, great portrait lens. I do fancy the 85 though, but I've never actually bought one. I always get away with the 50, and it's, it's really light and small, and you can put it in your pocket. Brilliant piece of kit. Now then, the big boy. 600mm lens. I've had this lens since 2009, and there's nothing wrong with it. It's um, it's had a few services, it's like Trigger's Broom, but it's uh, internally it's um, perfect, even though it's a little worn on the outside, as you can see, the paint's coming off, because the way I ride around the track is uh, I have it across my body and it rubs on my hip, so it's taking the paint off it, because it's been around for that long, um, but it's a trustworthy lens and that don't really want to trade in for the new lens because I don't think it's much better apart from it's lighter. So I need a monopod always to carry it because you just can't hold this steady because of the weight of it. I need to put some more weight. And then because we're at Grand Prix tracks, you use an extender a lot to get that extra focal distance. Um, always worth carrying things like that. Then there is a speed light, which I don't really use a lot, apart from on the grid and in Park Ferme, maybe because the caps put the, the shade over their eyes like that. So you just use a speed light just to fill in a flash, but it's not something that I use a lot of. I try and use natural light. For putting the monopod in, because I like to swing with the action, I put a belt on and I have a belay device to put the actual monopod in. And then it sits on my hip, and I can I can move with the bikes or the cars going past, and it's not s slipping on the ground or anything. If it was on the ground, you'd be you'd be too restricted to it being horizontal all the time. You can't move like this. Um, and then there's a, a little pouch on it for the wide lens to go into, so that I can always carry that with me. Well, thanks for watching and hopefully that was quite informative. If you've got any questions, leave comments below and I'll try and answer them for the next edition. Thanks, bye.